Hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. It's it's very exciting because um, yesterday we, we actually came down lower, which, which we did expect. We hit the 33 cent level. I think 33.1 was the target. And then, um, as I also said in the last video, that we will probably see a larger move to the upside. So everybody who's watched the last video will, will remember that, will know that. Talked about quite an extensive move to the upside that would be following probably the next decline here, yeah, to 33 cents or 33.1, because we were so much oversold. So a few things that really pointed into that direction. We saw yesterday a bullish divergence on the RSI. Um, second, bullish divergence on the RSI on the one hour, on the um, four hour we had also a bullish divergence yeah we now have a, a bullish crossover as well and on the daily not yet but we are very much oversold so also here you would expect some kind of a more extensive correction to the upside if not even a reversal and the end of the bear market here at 33 cents now how realistic is it that we ended the bear market I, I don't think very realistic but we have to have an open mind in this market and um it is absolutely possible, yeah. I think a couple of days ago I told you that now every low could be the last one because while I primarily expect one more low here to around maybe 30 cents, yeah, if not lower, this could, you know, you can find a way to count it in a way as well. Yeah, the market leaves you that possibility that the low was already in here at 33 cents. But to make that or to understand that clearly or to, let's say, to confirm that we need to see certain levels broken. Okay, there are two levels that I'm watching out specifically for. So first of all, I told you yesterday that if we get above this trend line, it will very strongly indicate that this white wave four has started or, you know, or that we have ended the bear market, obviously, and that we're moving higher in an impulse. Now, this move up is very strong already, yeah, um, which doesn't suggest yet that we are, that we have ended a bear market because it's just too early to tell. But um, yeah, I made you aware that the possibility exists. So we have now broken out of above this trend line. So that was sort of a, a hint that we are going to move higher, possibly to the next trend line, which we did. Um, ta ideal target range for this wave four is actually between 38.5 cents, the 50% FIP level and the 35.6 cent level the 23.6% FIP level. So 50% FIP level and 23.6% FIP level with a 38.2% FIP level in between at 37.2 cents. So what's my view now? My view is we should, should, not will, but should reach this target area and then reverse from it to the downside. I wouldn't be surprised to reach the 38.2% FIP level, 37.2 cents. I would be... To be honest, even though it is part of the retracements, the allowed retracements for a way four to reach the 50% FIB level, I think if we break above 37.2 cents, if we do that, um, because it's a, it's a previous way four of a, of a relevant degree, it normally is unlikely to break above this if you are still expecting one more low. So even though the Fibonacci retracements allow for this way forward to do it, I would nearly, I think I will be leaning towards the low for ADA has been in as soon as we break above 37.2 cents. So I just tell you that straight away. Um, we still then need to have an open mind that, yeah, we could go up here and then still come down, but it will increase the likelihood that the low was in for ADA, that ADA already ended the bear market. Now, again, it's very early days, you know, I'm not telling you it definitely is happening, but it's a possibility now. Um, basically, the first time that I tell you that ADA could have now ended the bear market um, from here, right? But we need to see the evidence now. We need to see the evidence. So I would want it to move above that 37.2 cent level to consider that. Yeah. So this is now looking very interesting. It's at the moment all working out as forecasted that we have this stronger move up. What we need to do, what the bulls now need to do to get into this target area between 35.6 and 38.5 cents is to break above this descending trend line, um, which to be fair is quite a strong trend line. So a break above that would obviously also be a hint that, you know, a low could have been in already. Um, 
but again we need to break above a certain level to to really confirm that or have a clearer have a clearer view of that um but yeah it's it's certainly looking interesting um and i think you know obviously we haven't broken the trend line yet we're still fighting around the trend line so as long as we are still below the trend line even though the 23.6 percent fib level is normally the minimum what you need to do in a way for you know there's always the risk it doesn't get through and we will see one more low from here because we are still below the trend line but it should really reach that target area that's my view at the moment you know that's my view at the moment we see here the uh, momentum shift you know we had a bullish divergence so it really um we had a bullish crossover on the rsi as well so it should really push a bit higher here and also we have not retraced you know if you, if you look at this from a retracement point of view we've really only retraced to the um 38.2 percent fib level here in this move so i would say as long as we stay above 33 and a half now 33 and a half cents there is still a good chance to push higher from here okay that's my update about ada hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye